We all know that when the Wii U was made, it shipped out with one major omission. In its stock form, you can't play GameCube games on it. I mean, where would you plug in the controller after all? Fortunately, through the power of Nintendo and one single accessory, you can play your favorite GameCube games on your Nintendo Wii U on the big screen, or even enjoy them on the Wii U's gamepad in portable form. Grab your Nintendo Wii U and your PC. You're about to learn something new. For this to work, you'll need to have both your Nintendo Wii U and your virtual Wii jailbroken. I have links in the video description to help you get both of these tasks done. The Nintendo application is the magic that restores GameCube functionality to your Nintendo Wii U. I have a link for you in the video description. The files you need are not stored in the releases section as is kind of customary on GitHub. Instead, they're linked in this quick installation section that you need to scroll down the page to access. There are three files here that you'll need to grab. The first one is the loader.dol file, followed by the meta.xml file, and finally, you'll need the icon.png file. All of these files are linked for direct download right underneath the quick installation text. If you want to use official GameCube controllers from Nintendo with your Nintendo Wii U, you'll also need an external USB adapter. Okay, this is super important. Be sure to only grab the Mayflash brand of GameCube controller adapter for Wii U, Switch, and PC. The knockoff brands don't typically support anything except Smash for Wii U. They don't support the GameCube library through Nintendo. I have the Mayflash GameCube adapter linked for you in the video description. From the desktop on your computer, go ahead and open up a file explorer window for your downloads folder. You'll see the three files that you just downloaded from the GitHub. I'll grab this window and drag and drop it and snap it into place on the left side. Remove the SD card from your Wii U and insert it into your computer's SD card reader. I'll grab this file explorer window and just drag and drop it over to the right side of the screen and snap it into place. From the list of pre-existing folders and files on your SD card, locate the folder called Apps and double-click into this folder. From a blank space in the File Explorer window inside this folder, right-click, select New, and select Folder. You'll need to create a new folder here and name this folder Nintendo. Once you have this new folder in place, highlight all of the files from your Downloads folder for Nintendo and drag and drop them directly into the new folder on your SD card. Once you have all of the Nintendo files copied over, you can go back over to your downloads folder with them all still highlighted and delete them. And remember, they're all backed up in your recycle bin if you need them. Let's get your game content copied over. You can copy it over directly to the SD card, which is what I'm gonna do in this case, or you can copy it over to an external USB drive formatted in FAT32 format. It's important to note that your games are best kept in folders because each of your game files for disk number one all need to be named game.iso. And if you have a bunch of files named game ISO, you won't be able to have them coexist inside a single subfolder. If you have a game with more than one disk, make sure to name the first disk game.iso and the second disk disk2.iso. Cool, now that you know how to format your content, let's get it copied over to your SD card. From the File Explorer window for your Wii U's SD card, go back one level to the root of the card. Locate a blank space on the card and be really careful not to create this inside one of the folders. Right-click, select New, and select Folder. Name this folder Games, G-A-M-E-S. Now you can go back to wherever your games are saved on your computer and drag and drop all of the folders for the games directly into the Games folder on the SD card. Now that you've copied everything over to the SD card, the work's done on the computer. You can close out any open instance of File Explorer from your computer, remove the SD card from your computer's reader, and insert it back into your Nintendo Wii U's SD card slot. If you plan to use an authentic GameCube controller with your Wii U, go ahead and plug in the two USB leads from the Mayflash adapter into the back of your Wii U. There's a switch on the back of the adapter. Make sure that you have set it to the Wii U side rather than the PC side before proceeding. Then on the front of the adapter, plug in your favorite GameCube controller. From the home menu of your Wii U, navigate to the VWii or Virtual Wii channel and select it. From here, choose whether you want the Wii's video and audio output to go to the television, or the television and the gamepad. Using a Wiimote from the main menu of your Nintendo Virtual Wii, select the Homebrew channel from the main menu. Then select Start to launch the Homebrew channel. From the main menu of the Homebrew channel, you'll see that you have a new entry called Nintendo. Select it from the main menu, then select Load to launch the application. Each time you load Nintendo, it will scan your SD storage media and your USB storage media for any new game content that you've installed. You'll be presented with the option to either load content from the SD card on your Wii U or an attached USB drive. Seeing as how I just put those games on the SD card, I'll select SD card from the choices here. You'll see your list of games populate on the main menu of Nintendo. 
One of the great things about Nintendo is if you use something like the Mayflash adapter I showed you earlier, it will automatically configure your GameCube controller correctly inside the button assignments. If you like having to start your games over every single time you load them, do nothing here. Otherwise, press the B button on your Nintendo Wii U gamepad or your attached GameCube controller. This pulls up the settings menu for Nintendo. You'll see that there's a highlight arrow to the left side of the list of choices. Use your controller of choice to bring the highlight arrow down to Memcart emulation. Press the A button to change this setting from off to on. This sets up a virtual memory card for your GameCube game so that you can save your progress going forward. Press the B button to go back to the Nintendo main menu. That highlight arrow will shift from the left side of the screen back over to the right side of the screen to the list of games. Move the highlight arrow to the game you want to launch, in this case Mario Golf Toadstool Tour, and select it with the A button to launch it. An important reminder here, if you haven't jailbroken your Nintendo Wii U and the virtual Wii inside your Nintendo Wii U, this process won't work. To get those done, check out the videos which are linked in the description and pinned comment. They'll help you get through the jailbreaking processes step by step in just a matter of minutes.